Hi. Uh, that was rude. <laughs> Why does it look like it's going so slow in the camera? You're just like my exes. I'm trying to love you when you push me away. All right, so I don't know the name of this thing, but. Como ya la vi, solita, pues me pregunté. ¿Qué pasa cuando me bailó? Cerquita, eso fue descomunal. Dale, dale, tra, tu sabes cómo es, cómo hacerlo. Hola and hello, welcome back to Time with Tally. Today I get to show you guys what's in my gym bag because I'm not gonna lie, it's a big ass bag. <laughs> and I sometimes question how do I get all the stuff that I have in there in there. I don't even do half of the things that some people do when they go to the gym. Some people actually shower at the gym, change, get ready for work and do other things like that. I don't do that. I could only imagine how much bigger it would be. My bag looks like I'm preparing for the zombie apocalypse. I know you guys are gonna call out my ADD or OCD or whatever that thing is when you see how many compartments slash little baggies I have in this bag to separate everything so I don't lose everything. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> All right, so I don't know the name of this thing, but... <sighs> I don't know the name of this thing, but I know it's from Gymshark. If I find it, I'll put it in the description. I got the color blue because honestly, I didn't want a basic gym bag that was just black. Granted, now I have to wash this one because you can see the stains sooner, more than you probably would with a black one. But I like the color. It keeps me motivated. It keeps me awake. I like backpack style. Duffels were just kind of not doing it for me anymore. I love the fact that it's a backpack. It keeps my hands more free to use. So I think what I'll do is I'll start on the outside. As I mentioned in my previous video with the top five hairstyles, I always have Jesus, a clip on hand. It doesn't have to be this one. It could be any clip. I have an array of clips and even what you saw in the last video is not all the clips I have. It's kind of crazy how many hair clips I have. So this is just in case I decide my hairstyle for the day didn't work out. I want to throw it up or I just need a little bit more security with my hairstyle. There you go. And this is number one of like 12 different baggies I have. I used to have an Ipsy subscription. <laughs> they would send you baggies every single month that you would get one of your subscri subscription. Subscription boxes, Jesus. I used to have the Ipsy bag plus the Ipsy bag plus so you would get like one of them would be full-size products and then the other one would be just sample sizes I was like I'm not gonna let these bags go to waste I'm gonna do something with them eventually so a couple weeks ago when I reorganized my bag I put them all in different bags <laughs> I like to keep the stuff that I'm mostly gonna use on the outside because I don't use every single thing that's in my bag it's only on certain occasions where I might actually have to reach into the bag but the stuff I definitely likely will use is usually in the outside pockets so it's easier access you know so in here I have all of my chapsticks last video I did with my friend Cassie we ended up counting five in this one I have one, two, three, four, five. So I have two lip glosses and three chapsticks. I'm not kidding. Oh my God, oh my God, Hot Mess Express. Like I said, we don't do crusty, dusty, musty ass lips. Okay, bye. I come prepared because you never know when you're gonna find the love of your life. It may not be in the gym, but I'm still gonna make sure that my lips look kissable. Who knows? Maybe one day it will be raining outside and the love of my life will just grab my face and kiss me. Oh, that'd be nice. <laughs> Anyways, there's two outside pockets, so sometimes I will put my water bottle in there, but my friend Amy actually just gave me a water bottle that actually had like a satchel strap, so I can actually put it over my arm like a bag or put it across my body. So it's a really cool water bottle. <laughs> so I don't really have to use the side pockets anymore for it. On the other side pocket, I have a little face cloth just because sometimes, one, I wanna wipe off my makeup or my sweat. Oh, and two essentials here. One, I got my lock for my locker because you know, people be trying to steal things. No, I'm just kidding. I've never had an issue at any of my gyms with people trying to steal my stuff. Knock, knock. And then my headphones because I cannot work out without them. I don't care. Here's where we get into the good stuff. This is where you're gonna be like, this chick is weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Please keep in mind that, for example, my camera stuff isn't in this bag every day. <laughs> it's only on the days that I think I'm actually gonna record. So this little travel bag I bought one day when I was going on a trip to Vegas with my best friend. I don't really travel much a lot at this point, so I didn't have use for it, but I was like, you know what? I started creating content and then I decided, wow, this actually would be the perfect size. In here, I have my camera stuff. So it kind of looks like that. <laughs> my camera bag. I don't really have use for that stuff right now, but there's my little tripod. And you'll see where that actually goes later too, because sometimes when I record in the gym, I hate carrying that thing around. It's better than carrying around a standing tripod though, I gotta be honest. And then, oh, here's my mics. Obviously I'm using one of them right now. 
I'm getting hot. So this is what it looks like, the rest of it. Let's get the bigger stuff out the way. So here I have my ankle straps. So this is in case I wanna do anything cable wise or if I wanted to just strap maybe like a little kettlebell or something. Some people I've seen use like little, I think they're called cliffhangers or I don't know. Cliffhangers, hang gliders. What the fuck, carabiners? I don't know what the hell they're called. You know those little clips that you use in the gym to put an attachment on the machine? Yeah, people use those clips sometimes and they attach them to their ankle straps and put kettlebells or random little plates on there and then they do free weight stuff like that. I have yet to do that. I've only done the cable stuff with it, but who knows, maybe I'll get a little creative <laughs> the next time. I also now have my belt in here. I'm so excited. Oh my God, it's my first ever belt and it obviously is like in mint condition at this moment, but I'm sure it won't stay like this for long, knowing me. That took up most of the space. So do you remember when I said I don't like to carry the tripod around? So this is really cool. My friend Amy got this for me for my birthday. And honestly, I wasn't sure how I was gonna use it, but it's a fanny pack. I do not use fanny packs on the daily. So I was like, I have no idea how I'm gonna put this to use. I, I don't really use these. Um, But little did I know they actually came in clutch when I started creating content in the gym because my tripod fits in here. I put my extra batteries, my extra SD cards. I put my chapstick, my uh, headphones, everything in here. And I just walk around with this around my waist and it fits everything that I really need at the moment. It's chef's kiss. Thank you, Amy. Because also now my gym doesn't allow gym bags on the floor just for safety reasons, which is absolutely understandable. But yeah, a lot of times if I'm just carrying this around, nobody ever has an issue. Here, here I have my wrist straps, which are for like deadlifts and things like that or where I may need some help with the grip. I have yet to use these yet, so I'm really excited to use them. <sighs> They're so cute, right? Oh, I've been in love with like brown lately. It's just, it's a thing, man, it's a thing. And I look good in brown. And this is where the OCD kind of comes in in a sense, but it's not really OCD. All right, I can get very overwhelmed if my bags are not in order or if other things in my life are not in order or like compartmentalized. All right, so in this little baggie, it came from Ipsy as well. Self-love is the best love. This was during self-care month. I think it was in February or so. So in this bag, don't come for me. Cause honestly, can you really come for me for caring about this? Not really. Anyway, so in this bag, I have a toothbrush, floss, toothpaste, and mouthwash. There's my floss. <laughs> well, I use two different kinds of floss. And here's my toothbrush. Ever since I got my braces off, I'm very peculiar about how I take care of my teeth, which is amazing. I always took care of my teeth, don't get me wrong, but definitely, I don't think I did it as well as I could have been, of course. But once I got my braces on and I educated myself more on it, I carry this everywhere I go. So this does move in and out of my gym bag. I bring this with me in my purse, in my work bag, things like that, so I can brush my teeth, floss my teeth after every meal and things like that. At the restaurant, you're gonna be catching me doing that, so. If you're embarrassed of that, we can't be friends. Oh well, obviously I'll go to the bathroom. In this one, we have, this is one of the bigger bags, by the way. In this one, we have just like personal hygiene stuff. So I carry a deodorant with me, some type of body mist or spray, whatever, cause girl, some days I just be stinking when I let my armpit hair grow a little bit longer than I think it should. That's crazy. <laughs> And of course, tampons, duh, just in case. Sometimes you can train hard enough that it may throw off your cycle out of nowhere, stresses of everyday life, everything like that. Girls know that the psyche really does affect and can manipulate your menstrual cycle. It's actually kind of funny. When I first started the keto diet, now for this cut, I usually will get my period probably around like the 19th to the 23rd or so of every month, if it's regular that month, because <laughs> I'm irregular as hell. But this month, it was super random where I got it at the end of the month and then I got it again on the third, fourth around there, but likely because because I started training pretty hard and I changed my diet, did all that to start the cut. I'm probably gonna get my period twice this month. Gang. <laughs> and this bag is so cute, but I literally, like I said, I never had a purpose for it. How cute is it? It's like a little satin bag with yellow butterflies and flowers. So freaking cute with like a black, I just can't. Black and white strap, it's so cute. And in here, <laughs> surprise, surprise, your girl wears glasses. I can't see now. Hold on. Oh my God, let me show you something. My friends hate when I do this, but they also find it super funny. Hi. <laughs> That's how blind I am. So I have my glasses in here. I bring some extra saline with me. I usually wear my contacts to the gym, but let's just say that day they become really dry. I always have my eye drops on me and a container to take them out and then put my glasses in if need be. I just don't like to work out with my glasses on because as my fellow glasses wearers know, when you start to sweat, the way that condensation just accumulates on your glasses is absolutely ridiculous. And or I have noticed over time, I don't know if it's weight loss, I don't know what the hell it is. 
Okay. I'm not gonna say it's weight loss because imagine saying like you lost weight behind your ears or around the fatness of your head. Like, I don't know, like <laughs> I'm probably gonna sound crazy. But over time, my glasses have also, they started falling off of my head. Like literally will just fall off my face if I bend down and stuff. Um, so I definitely have to like get them readjusted. But that's another reason I also don't like to wear them in the gym. Condensation and I don't want them to fall and break because they were expensive. <laughs> so these next two kind of go together. Adorable. So Ipsy sent me these two and let's see what's inside. So the big one is the main character of the two. Pew pew! I am just kidding. It literally, it's a massage gun. And no, it's not a nasty one. So get it together, my friends. This I use when I have sore muscles or I'm taking an active rest or recovery day and I just wanna massage those muscles, get that blood flow going and help in recovery. Also in this bag, I have my elastic stretching band. So this people can use usually for resistance band training and things like that. Honestly, I just use it to stretch. Oh, if you could hear the crack in my back right now, that was crazy. In here I have the charger for the massage gun. It came with three different massage heads. I got this at Marshall's, I believe it was, for like 50 bucks. But it does a job and it has like 20 different settings on it. I'll show you what it looks like. But don't laugh. Jesus. So the way it works, you just take one of the heads. See that hole in there? Yeah, but just put it in there. Okay. Beep, tighten that and then it has one of those like on buttons and this is where you plug in the charger hee <laughs> hee so that's everything that's usually in my gym bag there are days where i will pack maybe some extra sweatpants or extra pair of shorts whether it be because i'm on my period and i'm scared that i might go through or god forbid i were to rip my pants that's usually not the scenario but it's not a bad idea just in case it happens because i have ripped my pants in the gym before and don't get me wrong because there are some days for example like let's say i'm lifting right but then i want to do some cardio afterwards lifting shoes and running shoes they're not the same they don't function the same and i don't feel i can use the same shoes for lifting lifting and running. I'm not going to get into the mechanics of it all, but let's say there's a day I want to lift and then do cardio. I'll likely bring my running shoes and put them in my bag. And lastly, it's not pictured here because I did already go to the gym today. Most of the time I'll bring along with me either my breakfast or a protein snack, whether it be a bar or something I put together beforehand, or maybe even like a protein shake and I just wrap it in like an ice pack and napkins or aluminum foil, whatever it is I can find. And I'll just put it in one of the side pockets as well. That way I can have it after while I'm still in that catabolic state. So that's everything that's in my gym bag. Maybe it'll give you some ideas on what you might be bringing to the gym next. Thank you all for spending time with me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Why does it look like it's going so slow in the camera? Like not for nothing. You can kind of see that better. Can you hear it? <laughs> if you were to exert more pressure onto a muscle, it recognizes that and actually will go harder. Normal pressure, normal pressure. It's going to stop and then it's going to go hard. I love you. Put the claws away. Bye. Oh, no, I didn't do it. I swear, I'm sorry. My cat's fine, I promise.